guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all really well. It's time for July favourites and um, I missed the favourites last month I think just because I don't know, the month went so quickly and like I didn't have loads of new things to share and stuff but I think this month and next month I'll have a lot of new things to share because I've been trying a few different things. I've been dare, <laughs> I've been dabbling, I've been dabbling. I'm very jittery, I don't know why. Nah, I haven't had coffee. Also before I started I wanted to just give a little heads up slash update that um, I don't know how many of you read my blog but I also blog where I mainly like show my outfits, like daily outfits and like where, things I've been going to, where I've been eating out and stuff like that um, and yeah so I always link it down below but I just wanted to say that I've kind of rejigged it and like kind of redesigned it a little bit so check it out if you like I love blogging it's so calm and collected and everyone's really lovely so yeah if you like blogs check out my blog let's get into July favorites and let's start with makeup shall we I don't know let's start with makeup okay so oh Eileen's <laughs> rolling around on the floor slowly it's like the first thing I'll start off with is the NARS uh, oh god what are they called um, velvet matte lip pencil these are gorgeous and this is in Dolce Vita Dolce Vita um, I'm wearing it uh, today I've got a mix of lip products on today but I'm partly wearing this as well today and yeah I'll just swatch oh my god I haven't swatched in forever so it looks like that swatched it's a really nice wearable kind of everyday red-ish tone I mean it's pinky ready I just have to put this in because I, I've spoken about this so many times but it's the the MAC Pearl Frost cream color base and um, basically it's a cream highlighter and I'm wearing it today down my nose on here and here and um, yeah really good product I won't talk about it loads because I've, I've spoken about it so many times um, next is a nail varnish which I've been loving um, and typically I'm not wearing nail varnish today but it's the American Apparel Coney Island and it's just the most perfect cotton candy pink color and I love it um, oh Oh, <laughs> it's so good. I love it. I just picked this up in like Sainsbury's or something. It's the original source coconut shower gel. And yeah, and it's, oh, <laughs> all I can do to explain this is make noises. It's so good and it smells so nice. If you like coconut products like me, you just, just try it, just try it. Just try it. And also it's quite inexpensive, which is really good. And it says it's like vegan, natural moisturizers, made in the UK. I didn't know that actually. That's real good, isn't it? Oh, oh. When we first got the Frenchie, he started barking at the Frenchie. <laughs> I love it. What's he doing? Look, it's like you, Riley. An amazing hair product. I was sent over actually some of these products and I was like, I'm always quite skeptical of new hair products. I'm kind of like, I don't expect them to be amazing because there's so many out there that it's, I don't know, there's so many of everything, but you know what I mean. But I tried this Argan Dew, Argan Dew Protective Argan Serum for fine and normal hair. This is gorgeous. It makes my hair so nice and soft. It keeps it really moisturized during the day. Um, kind of like, you know, like usual, usually argan oil products are really good, but this is another good one. And it's not something that is just gimmicky, you know, using the name um, and then doesn't live up to it, the expectations, but it's really good, honestly. I use it in dry hair or in, usually in wet hair, but you could probably use it in dry hair because it's quite light as well. I'll link everything down below, by the way. Um, then the, oh something's wet, the last beauty, and can I just say, I cracked my phone, No! <laughs> oh my god I sound like a muffin. It's the Johnson's, ba Johnson's, Johnson's Baby Light Oil Spray, and I love this, I've been using it obviously after the shower, and I like to use it while my skin's still wet, so it just, you know, as it says, locks in the moisture and stuff. Like my skin's been getting quite dry, especially on my shoulders, um, and my legs and things, and this just just eliminates it like it just gives my skin so much moisture and it's just one of those good old beauty products you know like a baby products are usually really good that sounds weird but yeah I love it so I just got this I think I got it in boots or super drug or something so the last thing that I've got to talk about um is something that I'm also wearing on my lips today so I don't know if you guys have seen these but it's the nude sticks line so on my lips today I've got some of the lip pencil in ripe Oh, it's so soft and glossy. Literally, it's like a really glossy pencil. I absolutely love it. But not too glossy that it's shiny. So yeah, I also, oh actually, I wanna put some on my cheeks. That'd be cute. 
<laughs> so yeah, it's good like if you're quite young and you just want that kind of natural look or you know whatever age you are really <laughs> but it's so nice I love cream lip product um, cheek products as well also they do concealers and I have the concealer in deep seven and I've got that on today as well like under my eyes but so creamy and really really blendable and then the idea is like you put them all in this, in this little tin and you can put them all in there and you know take it with you it's a cute little tin and the lid has a mirror what? <laughs> it's a really good sized mirror as well. Getting creases under my eyes, man. This is not cool. I'm almost 25. It's my birthday soon. Ugh. So the next thing I wanted to talk about are just two fashion favorites. The first thing is this kind of kimono-y thing. So it's from River Island. I got it from my trip to Ibiza when I went with River Island. And I absolutely love it. It goes with everything. It's got this gorgeous kind of lace-ness <laughs> uh, you know, along the shoulder and the arm. Um, it, it's just such, it's gorgeous. It's just like an off-white, slightly off-white colour, really drapey, flowy, feminine. I got it in a size A and I've been wearing it just non-stop. It's such a gorgeous summer piece. I can't find it on the website actually, so if I can eventually find it, I'll try and link it. My next thing that I want to talk about are my Doc Martin shoes. I love these. I absolutely love them. They go with so many things as well and you can like wear they're kind of more wearable in some of them the boots, you know, the usual dock boots because my ones have fur in so they get really hot but these are, look at them, they're just gorgeous, I love them. I was actually inspired to buy these from um, Yasmin Chanel and she's on, oh she has a blog actually but she's on Instagram as well, I'll link her down below, I absolutely love her style, hey girl! I saw her uh, wearing these a few times and I was like they look so cool. So yeah, I absolutely love docs. You just get a lifetime of wear out of them. Okay, a TV series that I have to include, Vikings. It's so good. Vikings, Vikings, Vikings. And does any, has anyone else watched it? Because it's so good and I don't, I haven't heard anyone else talk about it. Um, it, it follows kind of some true, like the true, some of the true history of what went on back in those days um, and I love the female figures in it because they're quite strong and like don't take no shit. <coughs> yeah, I love the females in it, kind of like how in Game of Thrones they're strong female characters. Also a film that I wanted to include is one that I watched a little while ago now and then we've re-watched it. I made Jason watch it <laughs> and it's Saving Mr. Banks and it's a film that when I first saw it I was like, mm, that looks boring, like it doesn't look like my kind of thing. <laughs> But on the other hand, I love Disney. And basically it's about the woman who wrote Mary Poppins and her struggle with like handing that over to Disney. Um, and just, I, won't, I don't wanna ruin anything, but um, yeah, it's about Mary Poppins and like the, the creation of it and the woman behind it. And it's really, really good. It's like heartfelt, but also funny. Um, Parts of it are kind of sad, but not that sad. Um, and it's quite magical, and I love it. I love the actress, Emma Thompson. She's so good in it. And Tom Hanks is obviously amazing, always. I also have two people that I wanted to shout out um, that I really have. Massive fly, go away! Also, I've been loving chorizo recently. <laughs> That's such a random favorite. Um, but chorizo is so good. The first person that I wanted to talk about is um, Coco Beauty and I love her Insta. I think I first found her on Instagram because she has the most amazing outfit pictures. Her style is just like, whoa. She just seems like such a lovely, lovely girl and she has a YouTube channel as well so I'll link her YouTube channel down below. I love, I just love it. It's just amazing. Like if you like style and favorites videos and things like that. Just a little mix of things. Uh, but the way she does everything is just lovely. Also, I wanted to give a shout out to um, it's, it's Lena Ma. And I've met her before. Her name's Hel Helena. Helena? I won't be saying it wrong. She's such a cool girl. Like, it, oh my God. She's just wicked. Like the way she does everything is really cool. I love her channel and she put, they both like put a lot of effort and time into their channels as well and great personalities and like it's Lena Ma, she's really funny as well and just like really down to earth. Oh, went to see Planet of the Apes as well not too long ago, it was so good. I'm gonna go and yeah, I'm gonna go, I just said that. <laughs> I hope you're all well um, and I'll see you in the next, I can't talk. <laughs>
<laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Stay in school, make good choices. Bye! <laughs> Mwah! Accentuating your natural blush, obviously. So the best ones, in my opinion, and I've tried quite a few, are the MAC ones. And I especially love Lilicent, which I think they've actually discontinued. Damn you!